to create uh, ASCII programming file for the FANUC program, for FANUC TP program. Uh, you can open or you can create it through the uh, robo guide. You can create an, a normal text editor also, but uh, that may be a headache because you have to recall or remember everything. But here are some guides you can get from here whenever you're comp compiling the ASCII file. Uh, that's the way you can uh, troubleshoot or at least uh, troubleshoot a part of the syntax and the program error. Your first thing you have to go, go from the tree, uh, there's a tree of the menu, select, uh, uh, right click on the file and then select the new file and from the new file select TP listing, the teach pen and listing file or .ls file and select click on and it will try to create an existing one uh, but you have to have to empty one you have to select an empty one so normally you'll find a file uh, uh, like this one that's empty one <laughs> the tp listing file has a structure with sections a few mandatory sections you have to create First one is program. Sections are created with slash, then P R O G. This pro. This is one section, and you see whenever it's, uh, the text color goes uh, green, means that your section code you have selected is right. I just wanted to increase the font size, so let's increase the font size as twelve, so I can see it nice and clean, big. So font size, I want to create the pro. So pro section, that's the meaning of section. Pro section should have the program name. The name will be the exactly the same as the .ls file name. Otherwise, it will give an error. So let's go. So this is our test one or test twelve because there is a one test one I can see in the list. The next one will be attribute section A T T R. The next one should be the MN section, the main program, that the program where you will be writing the programs. And uh, also there should be an empty POS section or position section, and then empty, and then finally the end. And don't forget to uh, create a new line after that. In MN, that's where your program goes. And this is the text program you write, the program, whatever you see on the uh, on the pitch pendant as the TP program. Uh, one clue is that you could write in line number, then colon, then your program, and then each of the line must, must, I repeat, must end with a semicolon. Even if it's empty, it must end with a semicolon. But on the other hand, I would suggest not to write the line number, instead, just start with colon. Whenever you load it, the line numbers will be automatically populated like the all the empty sections will be automatically populated based on the controller you are loading this program to so line number then you can write whatever uh, whatever the program code are there so you can write say first one is a comment this is our test program so comment starts with either a scam exclamation sign or, or character or the two hyphens and then we can write this is our first test program this is our first dot ls program file and it must end with a semicolon and write it down here so let's say we are wanted to put the register instruction r12 i like 12 equals to 15 now we can at the same time use the comment to write a comment. This is the end value. Say with our for, I'm creating a for loop now. End value. Next, I create the for. So for my r counter r say one is a loop counter. counter from 
that means we have to initialize the value from one we could create another register two or twelve again don't forget the semicolon so this is our first instruction on four then we create some L instructions here and there L our position one so this is L so say 350 millimeter per second that's how the speed been given I will just give the speed and then find and then we simply can write or finish the N4. N4. Don't forget the same color. Otherwise, it will create a problem. Now, this is the simple program we can we have created. We can create some other as well. Have so many lines as, as you want to go. And insert. Then you have to save it. First thing that go for the save as is named as untitled. If you keep it untitled or a different name than the test 12, that's the name of the program section, it will give an error whenever you want to build it. So let's create the name same test 12. Don't forget the dot ls dot ls as an extension. So type as ls also you can select from here. Save. Now we this is important you have to replace the old file otherwise the untitled.ls will remain there so i have to replace with the new name and the new name is created as test 12. now this is the uh, minimum program we have created now we wanted to we want to compile it compiling also is a kind of error checking we'll go for the first compiling this is the build one there is a build icon on the uh, toolbar uh, of that editor click the build icon and it will create and as the translation is complete it will translate from the s key to the binary tp.tp file this it created a file called .tp test2.tp you can see here on the files list test12.ls and that's just below it is a test12.tp in RoboGuide, I can double click on to open the TP file. Oh, I have to load it. It's, not, it's, should be, it's supposed to be loaded. Yeah, whenever you create in the RoboGuide, it's supposed to be loaded in the memory, in the virtual memory here. So load it. And then we can open it through the teach pendant. So. Take some time, okay. So I've loaded it and then select. We have to have find uh, what it called tip teach t t t t t t. Next one will be t test 12. We have created this test 12. Select or enter. We can see. This is the file you have created this is our first dot ls program that's a comment then you have created this fellow this one everything is created now as, as you see the line number is inserted automatically why i asking you to create with a blank line number without the line number only the colon because if you want to insert anything in between you don't have to rearrange whole lines so lines will be automatically created by the teach panel or the controller whenever you load it. 